Tonight, more gunshots and bloodshed to shatter the weekend in a Hampton Road city. Yeah, the second weekend in a row from Hampton. Two shootings happened late last night. The third on Andros Isle this morning and just and the victim there is just 14 years old. Tonight, mayors from across the area will talk about that uptick in gun violence. Then your side's Kayla Gaskins has more on that for us tonight. We are on the corner of Homestead Avenue and Vine Street right now in Hampton. And if you take a look at this house right here, you can see bullet holes through the side of the home. This bullet hole through the back of the house, we're told, pierced the hot water heater. The woman who lives here isn't currently here because there is work being done at the house, so no one was injured. However, these bullets came from a shooting last night on this street around 10 p.m. that injured two young men. City and regional leaders say they are tired of this uptick in violence. Since June 19th, there have been seven shooting events in Hampton that have left eight victims. Three of those died. Here's Hampton Mayor Donnie Tuck. It's disturbing and it also just leaves me scratching my head as a term of what the reason for it. The victims ages are concerning for many. Last night, four young men were shot in the city. The oldest is 20. The youngest, just 14. So for a 14 year old to be out at 3 o'clock in the morning to be in a position to get shot, that's a concern. Mayor Tuck says Hampton isn't alone. Violence is increasing around Hampton Roads. Mayor Tuck has organized virtual forums for mayors from the seven cities to come together and discuss solutions to public safety. And say, okay, are there things that we are doing that um, to try and mitigate it that we can share? And are there things we haven't thought about that are being tried other places in the nation that might be beneficial? And so we want to look at every aspect of it. So far, no suspects have been arrested in connection with the shootings last night. So the first of the forums of the mayors was held in April, and it was a success. The next forum is held tonight at 7 p.m. Argina Arevalo will pick up coverage for this evening. In Hampton, I'm Kayla Gaskins. Ton on your side. Meantime, Newport News Police have a deadly shooting on their own to investigate. This happened just after 10 o'clock last night on Belvedere Drive near 71st Street. Police say a man was found shot outside an apartment complex. They say he died before a paramedic could get him to the hospital. No suspect information available right now. Newport News has seen 15 homicides there this year. And as Kayla mentioned, that forum on violence is tonight at 7 o'clock. Argina Arevalo will have more tonight on Wavy News 10 at 11.